Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the coding question which was asked in Cognizant Estimation slash CSD exam 2023. This exam happened on 8th October 2023 and in this video, I will be discussing the question which was named as phone number. Previously also, I have discussed few questions for the Cognizant CSD exam in the Java part as well as for the SQL questions also. So as make sure that if you are having your CSD exams in coming days, so you make sure that you watch this video till the end. And also if you want to practice more and more questions, you can find all those questions in this dedicated playlist of Cognizant Java and SQL CSD questions. Okay. So I hope you have understood this and guys, more such videos will be coming in future. So make sure that you are subscribing this channel and sharing this video among your friends because all of you I know are preparing for this exam. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button. Discussing the approach of this question and finally we will be discussing the coding part of this question. So let's start with the reading of the question first. The name of the question was phone number. So the question is when we share our phone number with others, we share the numbers digit by digit. Given a phone number in words, convert the number to digits. Okay. For example, convert 6483 to 6483. So we will be giving given a string. Okay. In string, there will be words and each word will represent a number, but in the sentence form 6483 like this, and we will have to convert each of these words into its integer number. So six, six, four, four, then this eight, this three. So simply we will have to convert a string of numbers to digits. Okay. So I hope this is clear to you. Okay. So next is all phone numbers will be of 10 digits. As we all know, all the phone numbers are of 10 digits. Two repeating digits will be shortened using the word double. Okay. So like we say four double two eight, like this we say, so it will be four two two eight. Okay. Three repeating digits will be shortened using the word triple four triple two eight. So four three times two and then eight. So this is how we'll say four triple two eight. If the digits repeat more four or more times, they will be shortened using double and triple multiple times. Okay. We will see the example later. Okay. The input will always be valid. That is always 10 numbers will be there. For example, we won't have a scenario like double double two. So this is not a scenario double double two. So this is not a valid number. Okay. The valid case will be double two double two. Okay. So I hope this thing is clear to you. The entire input will be lower case. This is also an important thing. Let's just now see the example so that the things become more clear to you. Our input will be first input is 21968 So it is a string that is given to us. We will simply replace the string into the integer number that is 21968 Example two is 51024803332. Okay. So double three two. So here you can see double three two is written as three three here. Okay. So again, and every other number has been converted to integer form five, one, zero, two and similar. Next uh, example is five, one, zero, six, triple eight, nine, six, four. So again, triple eight, this is the major thing here. Triple eight has been replaced by three eights. Okay. Next example is five, eight, double, two, double, two. So as we say that if the numbers will repeat more than four times or five times, we will say like double two, triple two or double two, double two, like this we will say. So again, double two is written as this double two and next double two is written as next double two. Okay. So this is how our number is formed and all these numbers will really be valid scenarios. Okay. So I hope all the examples are clear to you. What we have to do, we have given a sentence in sentence. Each word represents a string format of a number. We just have to convert that string format of a number into the integer form. For example, this five in its string will be going to do this five in number. So this is the entire thing we will do and if the double if some number are repeating so we will be uh, prefixing them with double two or double three double five double triple five like this we will prefix them okay and we just have to convert them to the integer form so i hope this entire question is clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the approach of this particular question how we will be solving this question okay so guys to make you understand things in a better way, what I have done, I have done a split screen. On left side, you are uh, uh, you are watching the approach, and on the right side, I will be showing you the code line by line that how our approach is working. So make sure that you are watching this until the end. Okay. So let's just start with the approach and the code simultaneously. So the approach is 
we will be using a hash map approach okay why hash map approach we will be seeing further so we know that all the numbers will be zero uh, will be lower case in input and they will be numbers between 0 to 9 and two other words can be double and triple so as we have seen in the examples above it will be uh, the numbers will be all the all the numbers will be lower case like 5 8 double 2 double 2 4 8 so all these numbers are between 0 to 9 or it can be double or triple and all these numbers will be lower case okay so now what we'll do um, okay so we know that all the numbers will be lower case in input and they will be numbers between 0 to 9 and two other words can be double and triple okay we will store all the words in the hash map with key as word and value as actual number for example key will be 2 and value will be 2 so what we'll do we will make a hash map of string comma integer value okay and we will put all these numbers from 0 to 9 in the string format with their actual numbers in integer so 0 will be replaced with 0 1 will be replaced with 1 2 with 2 and so on okay now we will get input as string in which words will be separated by space we will break the strings into words and then we'll iterate the list of words so how we are getting the input we are simply getting the input in this in this way that is in a string format where each of the words are separated by space okay so what we'll do we will get the input as string in which words will be separated by space and we'll break the string into words and then we'll iterate the list so now what we have done we have taken the input okay numbers is equal to input dot split and input is coming from here okay i'm only implementing the function not taking as input and output so we have brought the input as string now what we'll do we will split this input string and we will get an uh, uh, we will split this input string based on the spaces and we will get the array of numbers so string array of numbers you will get where each of the uh, each of the what you will say each of the index will contain one word okay like 5 will be present at 0 8, <coughs> 8 will be present at first index okay now for every word in this array we will check in hash map and form the number okay so let's just now see that how now we have get got the array of words in which each word is either the number from 0 to 9 or it is double or triple and keep one thing in mind that all the numbers that we are given as input will be in valid form okay like double two triple two like this okay so we have taken a variable known as long actual number that is zero uh, and initialized with zero long okay so this is the act, uh, this is the variable which will store the actual number now we have got each of the words as an array okay so what we have done we have now to initialize two variables first is i i is the uh, starting point that is zero index next is n n is the ending point that is the last index last index will be number dot length minus one so what we have done we have iterated over while i is less than n that is till the last index we will traverse from i equivalent to zero till the last index so for that purpose only we have used this while loop now now once we are iterating over this numbers uh, over this words array there are three possibilities what are they the first possibility is that the current word is double okay first possibility is this the next possibility is that that the current word is a triple okay this is the uh, second possibility and the third possibility is that our current word is a number only our current word is a number only number means like this like let's suppose five okay so this is the third case so let's just see in each of the case what we will do if the current uh, if the current word is double what it means so this we are at this position and the current word is double now we know that what is what does double signify double signifies that the next word that is coming after double comes two times let's just see here the next word uh, uh, after double comes two times therefore double has come so what is the next word next word is two so actual number we have actual number will store the actual number that we have to return that is this number will be stored in this actual number now see what happens if we will okay let's just see uh, do simple things let's just simply iterate over this let's just simply iterate over this particular input string okay we know that we get the input string and we will now convert it into the array of words now what we'll do first we'll come at this five we know that there are three conditions possible either the current word is double either the current word is triple either the current word is the number okay we have an actual number variable which is starting from zero 
now when once we are iterating the first word we will will be 5 if the first word is 5 it means that we will go into this else condition we will go into the else condition right so what will happen we will do actual number is equal to actual number into 10 so actual number was 0 let me just write here actual number was 0 initially now what we have done we have received 5 we will do actual number into 10 actual number into 10 is equal to 0 only right next what we'll do we will find the corresponding integer number of this word we have this 5 now what we are doing using this particular map variable we are getting that what does what is the integer value what is the integer value of this current word so we know that in hash map we have stored 5 corresponding to this 5 so we will get 5 so x will now become x will now become 5 okay x has now become 5 next is actual number is equal to actual number plus x actual number is equal to actual number plus x so actual number is 0 so 0 plus x is 5 so now our actual number has become 5 the role of this x is over now we move towards the next iteration we are doing i plus plus and we move towards the next position the next position is 8 again in this three scenarios this 8 will be satisfied by this else again what we'll do we will do actual number is equal to actual number into 10 so it will now become 5 into 10 that is 50 now again what will be x x will be the current number from the hash map current word is 8 and corresponding integer number against 8 is 8 now it will do actual number is equal to actual number plus x so 50 plus 8 will become 58 so we have removed this x also and roll of this x is over next is double next is double so again uh, we will go next is double so this first if condition is fulfilled okay so when this first condition is fulfilled what we are doing we are doing actual number is equal to actual number into 100 in else condition we were doing actual number into 10 but now since double has encountered it means that two numbers we will be getting two repeating numbers are there so when two numbers are repeating therefore we have done actual number into 100 so now 58 into 100 becomes 5800 okay next we have found out the x how we will find out see the number just after double the number just after double will be repeated twice so number just after double is 2 so we will find the value of we will find the value of 2 not the double from the hash map therefore we have done numbers plus plus i that is next number you have to find from the hash map that is encountered two times so our x value will now be x value will now be 2 okay so we have actual value and we have x value now we have to merge this x value into the actual value so what we are doing actual number plus x into 10 plus x x into 10 plus x means <clears throat> x into 10 is 20 plus x plus x is 2 that is 22 now what we are doing we are adding this actual number plus 22 so actual number plus 22 becomes 5800 into 22 5800 plus 22 so this is how our actual value has now become similarly we will go again this if condition is fulfilled now we will go i plus plus again this double has encountered once this double has encountered again this if condition will run and again 2 is there so what we will do we will first multiply it by 100 then x value will be 2 because again here 2 is written okay x value will be 2 again 2 is written and what we will do again 2 into 10 plus 2 we will add it into this this actual number so it will become 22 okay so till this our actual number has been present now what we'll do we will go to the next stage that is 4 and 4 in this again else will run simply so first we will multiply this actual number with 100 it will become this x will now become 4 and we will simply add this x into this actual number now it will become 4 so the role of x is over next is 4 8 5 and 6 that is no double or triple is coming so simply this else condition will run for all these numbers and similarly first we will multiply actual number with x oh sorry with 10 and then we will simply add x to that number but in case of double what we are doing we know that the number that is coming after double will come two times so therefore we will multiply it by 100 and then adding x into 10 plus x but what we will do in triple case we know that the number after triple means it will occupy three spaces so first of all we will multiply this actual number with 1000 and then after triple that the number which was mentioned we will just add that number to the actual number. In double case what we are doing x into 10 plus x we are doing 
but in triple case since three numbers we have to add therefore we are doing x into 100 plus x into 10 plus x that is if 3 is there 3 times so 3 into 100 plus 3 into 10 plus 3 we are doing that is 333 3, 3, and we will add simply this 333 3, 3 to the actual number because actual number was first multiplied by uh, 1000 so therefore this 333 3, 3, once it's added this will replace all these three zeros and it will be this number so this is the actual number we will return after this entire function is over that is our i is less than n so if you want to uh, like let me just simply copy paste this one only uh, this syntax only and it will run fine let me just copy paste and show you <coughs> so oh sorry so we will just simply match it how it will look Okay, so 5, 4, 2, 2, this one, this and this matches. So it means our code is running perfectly fine and it will pass all the test cases that will be given to you. So I've only implemented this function. In this function, we will be getting the string input. We have just split that input into the array and we have iterated one by one. And there are three conditions while iterating that I have told you already. Current number can be double, triple and the number itself. And now we have to handle each of the case. I have explained with the help of a clear example. I hope all these things are clear to you. Please hit that subscribe button and do share this video among your friends so that they can also get the help from this particular video. Thank you for watching this video.